When it comes to the gun debate, there's one argument I'm sick of hearing. When a pro Second Amendment guy calls out Hollywood for its alleged hypocrisy, it goes something like this. Hey, Hollywood, if you're so against guns, then why do you glorify them in all your movies? Easy, patriot. Hollywood does a lot of things in movies that they don't do in real life. Come on, how many films have you seen about characters who are heroic, honorable, moral? So on the issue of guns, I don't see the contradiction when someone like Matt Damon says he's in favor of gun control while starring in what is essentially gun porn. Straight guys going gun for pay? It's more common than you think. That's because fiction doesn't have to represent your real life beliefs or even your real life knowledge. I hate to break it to you, but Matt Damon's never terraformed Mars either. Although I'm guessing colonizing the Red Planet would be easier with AK-47s. Not selling AK-47s to people on terror watch lists, you know what I mean? That is, that's like a non-starter. The fact is, trying to call an artist a hypocrite if their art doesn't reflect their political views and activism takes away from the real point. Hollywood has been helping the pro-gun cause forever. Think about it. In the movies, who always beats the bad guy with a gun? That's right, the good guy with a gun. Or the good guy without a gun, but with a special set of skills. Also known as fast cut editing. Either way, movies wouldn't be quite as enjoyable if every time there was a bad guy with a gun, someone dialed 911, and then we just watched everyone in the movie wait for the cops to show up. We wanna see a gun fight, or a gun versus a train killer with a knife fight or a gun versus a weird child with superhuman abilities fight. <laughs> In reality, if there's a bad guy with a gun, you probably won't have superpowers or 20 years of secret British military intelligence training. But you might have a gun because despite how easy the movies make it look, in real life, it's hard to disarm a gunman with your bare hands. And thankfully, it's hard to disarm the people with a right to bear arms as long as we stick with the strong arguments and leave Matt Damon out of it. One more thing. Hey, Hollywood henchmen, bullets shoot out of the gun. You don't have to stand within striking distance of the hero. He's just gonna take your gun away. You're making responsible gun owners look like idiots. Just take a few steps back and Goodwill Hunting's a dead man. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you click the little bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And if you really like the video, you can even support We The Internet TV on Patreon. Check out the link in the description below.